40 minutes of uh, basic cardio, like maybe five minutes out from the San Jose Pro. And um, this is the complex gym in my apartment. It's pretty nice to make here. The disciplines, treadmills, they even have the thing that's back there for squats and stuff. And then, it's like little cable stuff. But um, I'm gonna give you guys a quick little update with how I'm looking. Today is my second day on zero carbs. I actually started competing yesterday, and you know, my energy levels are really, really low. I'm just walking over here, I was already feeling really, really tired. So um, I'm planning on training some shoulders later today. But um, let me show you guys how I'm looking right now. Big update: five days off from the San Jose Pro. Feeling really super tired, low energy levels. I just gotta get through the day, but let me show you guys how it looks. Yeah, so that's where I'm at right now. If I were to guess my weight, I would say it's probably like 186 or 187. But I'm about to head back to my apartment right now to see where my weight is. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm eating for my first meal. So let's head over there. Let's see where my weight's at. All right. 87. Just got out the shower. Definitely had to take a really nice hot shower after that. I just felt really drained, but um, got my first meal here, ready and cooked up. Had about six ounces of um, red meat, and then I had two whole eggs with some spinach, onions, and carrots. And then I'll be adding one fourth of a teaspoon of um, pink Himalayan salt. Oh shit! So basically, I'm adding this to like every single one of my meals and I'm trying to get in two gallons of water but I feel pretty tired I'm just gonna devour this this probably will be gone in like two minutes oh shit what the hell but uh yeah I'm gonna be training some shoulders today gotta head out to Miami and uh train at this gym called Infamous Studios um saw some of the photos from that gym and the lighting is pretty dope so i'm excited to uh hit a workout shorter workout there and i'm just going to show you guys you know what i basically would be doing throughout the day and um pretty much just going to try to rest up as much as i can I just feel super tired my sleep was a little broken last night just because um I just felt really hungry going to bed so it's just you know it's pretty normal at this point but gonna eat this meal and then probably gonna go train in about two or three hours so I'll show you guys what I'll be eating as my pre-workout meal but look how delicious that looks a lot of people on prep they like to keep things really plain and simple um, this is just only salt on this meal I didn't use any extra sauces or condiments or anything like that so you, you just gotta be creative and see what um, What's compatible with you because you know at the end of the day the longer you stick to a diet the more results you're going to get out of it so if you're just eating just plain rice and chicken with like broccoli with no sauces or anything and you think you can do that for a long period of time you know some people can some people they just love to not use any sauces i have some clients that don't use any sauces or anything like that but you know I, I cut my sauces and all sauces and um, the condiments out about a week ago. But before that, you know, I'll be using like sugar-free ketchup with this or hot sauce with my chicken. You know, just trying to be creative and making it taste good, so that way I can stick it to it for a, like long, longer period of time. 
reason why I'm talking kind of lower now because my girlfriend she stayed up to like 9 10 a.m studying for her mcat so she's got to keep it quiet but i'm starving right now so i'm gonna eat this all right guys it's time to make my pre-workout meal but i head to the gym and i'm gonna be making a shake so right here i have a good amount of ice i fill it up with a lot of ice it's like one of my favorite meals um, i usually do like the protein sludge but i just run through that really fast so I'll put like a decent amount of water and I do 50 grams of protein from Whey HD um, Snickerdoodle. This is like one of my favorite flavors. It's back in stock, so it's so good. So I'll do uh, two scoops. Coach told me to add one fourth of a teaspoon of uh, sea salt with every meal, so just put some salt in there. And then I'm gonna weigh out some almond butter. And I'm probably gonna be doing, um, I think it's 20 grams of almond butter. So it's like 16, but now it's 13, so seven more grams. There we go. Perfect. So good. And there we go, my blender. And then, where's the. Oh, there we go. Put a lot of ice in there because it makes it like a, a slushy. So I'm going to be drink this, drinking this while I drive out to. Uh, Miami, and that's about like a 30 minute drive. That should be good. Let me show you guys how it looks. Look at that. So it's not like really like liquid, but um, probably in like a few minutes it starts to melt and then I just like sip at it. And this will probably take me like a good eight minutes to drink, so I just enjoy it. So uh, yeah, it's gonna be my pre-workout meal. I think I head to the gym and uh, treat some shoulders. So see you guys in the gym. In the light
Hope you guys enjoyed that shoulder workout. It's pretty brutal, there's a shit ton of reps. And the gym was actually really humid. It was pretty hot, so right off the bat, just warming up, I was like sweating like crazy. But um, I tried my best to push the pace, you know. Um, as far as the weights, I didn't go extremely heavy, but the workout I was doing, it was just kind of not really suited for, you know, heavy weights like that. It was more just keeping the intensity high. I'm, I just feel really, really depleted right now, and uh, my energy levels were just so sh like shocked during the workout. I remember towards the end, I just felt like a zombie. So today's day number two on zero carbs, and um, two more days to go. But uh, I feel pretty exhausted. I'm gonna head home right now, get my post-workout meal in, and I'm gonna show you guys what I'll be eating. But yeah, as you can see, just from my uh, my expressions and how I feel, I just feel really tired and beat, you know. The week leading up to the show is always the toughest because that's where you really have to deplete your body because, you know, the goal is to peak your body on that Saturday where you really fill out and deplete water and just really look your best. So leading up to that point, you know, it kind of sucks because you're just really depleting everything and just waiting to really load um but i'm really excited for this peak week i'll be in uh san jose wednesday night and uh wednesday will be my last day of training and um, i'll be competing against uh another team cuts athlete uh ant woods I actually turned pro with him at junior nationals and my first pro show the san jose pro he actually competed there as well and he won it that year so shout out to Ant Woods if you're watching this I'm really excited to uh, share the stage with you again it's gonna be really fun and you know people from San Jose are super awesome I remember the last time I went there it was just all great vibes so I'm really excited to go out there again and compete but um just gotta push these next few days and stay strong you know but I'm gonna head home right now and uh my post workout meal in. Alright, guys, this is my post workout meal. I have um, seven ounces of codfish, some carrots, and um, some spinach, and then I also did a fourth of a teaspoon of the um, pink Himalayan salt. Um, energy levels are super low right now. I just gotta, you know, get through the day. It's already 8 p.m. <clears throat> this is my third meal. I still have three more meals, but I'm probably not gonna show you guys because I'm probably just gonna try to edit this video and, uh, get it out to you guys as soon as I can. Definitely try out that shoulder workout. It's pretty intense in terms of volume. <sighs> that gym was super hot. I feel like I need to drink like a lot a lot of water, especially after that workout. But um, overall, it's a great workout. I feel super depleted right now. But I feel good, you know, I feel really good with how I'm looking. You know, I feel really flat and depleted. But you know, like I said before, the goal is to peak on Saturday, so how I look this Saturday is what matters most. You know, I could consume carbs and look really crazy right now and make an, a video where I look like extremely bubbly and, you know, that will be cool and all, but at the end of the day, it's just showing up on stage Saturday and doing just that. So, I'm going to eat up this meal and then edit this video and hopefully get it to you guys by 10 or 11 p.m. You know, I really appreciate you guys, you know, continuously supporting me with, you know, my preps and my journey as a competitor. Um, I really thrive off of you guys, you know, all the comments you guys give me on Instagram and YouTube. It really motivates me to push me to that next level. So I'm going to continue pushing these videos as much as I can. And um, yeah, just, just another day. I'm really happy 
that I got my cardio done and my training. Now it's just the resting and you know staying hydrated. It's super important to really rest up. You know, it's just it's like it's literally a full time job. You know, you really got to get your rest and get your sleep. So just gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, I'm gonna try to type out the whole entire workout and leave it in the description box. And um, I want you guys to try it out and um, let me know how you guys like it. I might film another video tomorrow. I'm gonna be training some back. I talked to my coach today and he told me I gotta you know pull back on the super sets and stuff because I'm already really depleted and I really felt that today too. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be filming tomorrow. I'm gonna see how I feel. But uh, yeah, it's gonna wrap it up. Thank you guys for watching.